Okay, so let's look at this multiple choice question. A statistics professor has established a probability distribution for grades a student can earn in that course based on his past 20 years of teaching this course. The following table gives the distribution where x is the grade point and p of x is the corresponding probability for the grade. All right, so we see this table and it says, what is the probability that a student will earn a grade better than a C for this course. All right, so some words that popped out to me, I saw probability distribution, all right? So as we move through chapters four, five, six, and seven, that either means table or it means graph, and I can see this table is given to me here. I'm gonna get all excited because this is another table given problem, all right? And it looks like we're talking about grade points and they're splitting them into this discrete, you either are 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. So it looks like we're not dealing with any plus minus grading systems, which is fine. And I can see these probabilities down here on the bottom row. These numbers are all between 0 and 1. They must collectively add up to 1. So there's my legit PDF. And it says, what is the probability that a student will earn a grade better than a C? So the phrase there, better than a C, is what's key in this problem. So if I want to get my grade to be better than a C, that really means I earn an A or I earn a B. And again, these are disjoint probabilities. You can't have one class and earn a B and an A at the same time. It's one or the other. So when I use formula one, I have no overlap to subtract out because these events are disjoint. Now these are the categorical versions of this. So really this is saying what's the probability that your grade point is a four, or what's the probability your grade point is a three. And you don't have to be this particular with the notation. I just want you to see where it's coming from. But basically, the probability of earning a grade point of 3 is 30%. The probability of earning a grade point of 4 is 8%. So I'm going to do 0 0.30 plus 0 0.08, and my end answer is 0.38. All right, option A. And if we're just looking at A through D, if you had no idea how to do this, there is one option you can rule out. The answer cannot be D. You cannot have a negative probability. There's no way for that to happen. Every probability we'll ever deal with in this class is a number between zero and one, or a percent between zero percent and 100 percent. So as soon as you see the word probability, this answer gets ruled out, okay? All right, so that's our first look at creating PDFs, right, at creating tables, and then using them uh, to, to get some uh, questions answered about probability.